Good morning, it is Friday. We are starting the vlog off with wet hair because I've just got out of the shower, which was a bit of a failed shower because the gas ran out halfway through, but let's not talk about that. Today is the first day in a very long time when I have got absolutely nothing to do. No work, nothing in the barn, don't have to go shopping, no errands to run, and I've even got the caravan to myself for a few hours. I'm definitely going to be making the most of it because the school Easter holidays are coming up next week, so my time is going to be much shorter then. But the prospect of having one day to do whatever I want is so appealing that I thought I would bring you along with me. So we're definitely going to be taking it easy this morning. I'm going to do a bit of tidying up around the caravan. I think I might do some baking. I might make some cinnamon buns. And the key thing today is I am going to write. Now, if you watched my last vlog, which cut off rather abruptly because I had sound issues with the final clip, I had just reached 50,000 words on my current work in progress. I haven't touched it since then. That is only a couple of days ago. So I'm going to be getting back to that today. And because I have nothing else to do today, I would really like to write quite a chunk of words. I'm aiming towards 3,000 and if I could get closer to 5,000 that would be incredible. Now I should say 3,000 is usually about my limit. I'm not one of those people who can write sort of 8 to 10,000 words in a day but I have no other commitments today and that is such a nice feeling so I'm going to see how far I can get. So it's going to be a very quiet, a very cosy day. It still does not feel at all like spring outside but we're going to make the most of the day anyway. So come along with me for this very cosy writing day. It's just gone nine o'clock. I have tidied up the kitchen a bit. I have put some towels into the washing machine. I've realized I can't make cinnamon buns until my partner gets back from the supermarket because we don't have any eggs. So I might make something else. I do have one really good cake recipe that doesn't use eggs. So that is a possibility. But I think right now it is time to do some writing. I do have those big word count goals for the day, but I'm also trying to enjoy myself and take it easy. I will be back to work on Sunday as usual, so I'd really like to take today and tomorrow as a proper weekend for once because it's quite rare that I get those. So I might do a 30 minute sprint, but I'm going to put some music on, light a candle, just enjoy the writing process. I've just wrapped up a chapter which only took about another 250 words. It's quite a short chapter and I can absolutely feel that it is missing something. It introduces a couple of characters and it does give one of them a certain revelation which is useful but I don't think it goes far enough and I haven't exactly decided how this particular revelation ties into the rest of the second half of the book. 
I think at this point though I can't really work it out. There are some things that I can only decipher in edits. When I read back through the book and come to edit it, it will probably be really clear to me what this chapter is missing and I will be able to see how the plot point I've written in this chapter ties into everything else. But for now it's going to have to stay a bit cryptic because I just can't see the answer at this point. So obviously 200 words is only a very small start to the day but that's fine I'm just getting warmed up. I think next I'm going to make some coffee and then get back to it. It's about quarter past 10. I'm actually surprised how early in the morning it still is because it feels like I've been working for hours. I have now written my first 1000 words though, which means my manuscript is now sitting at just over 51,000. I'm in a really fun chapter where some of my main characters are doing some research in a library. They are going to be summoning a ghost very shortly. I'm exploring some of of the backstory and world building that is pertinent to this book and this is the kind of chapter that I really love to write. I love world building, I love backstory, I love history. I studied history at university and I think that probably does come out in my books because I particularly love history that goes back a very long time. So it's really fun to be exploring this in this particular chapter. I'm trying not to focus too much on my word count goal for the day. I think probably I would just like to finish this chapter and at the rate I'm going that will be about 3,000 words and that would be a very good day's work. So I think I'm just going to write for another 20 minutes or so and then stop and take a break. I do want to do that baking I mentioned and it's also getting quite cold in the caravan so I might light the fire and I've got one or two other little jobs that need sorting out but I haven't quite finished listening to the album I put on so I'm going to do that and keep writing and let's see if I can hit about 1500 words. It's about half past two and my daughter is going to be home early because it is the end of term so it is time to wrap up my writing day and this vlog. I have had an absolutely fantastic and very relaxing day. I can't remember the last time I had so little to do on a Friday and I also didn't really give myself anything to do. I could have very easily piled on lots of chores and errands today and I just decided not to. The big focus of course has been writing so let's wrap up how much I've written today. You will remember that my goal was maybe three 3,000 words, more than that if I could manage it. 
and I have in fact written 3,000 words. I started off by writing about 2,000 words on my main project, that was largely done this morning, and then I decided I would switch over to something else. I'm nearly always working on more than one book at once, I have these kind of background projects, things that I work on in the evenings or at weekends, and I've got one that literally just got off the ground this week, so I wanted to add some more words to that. I have so far written about 13 or 1400 words words, which means that my total for the day so far is about 3,400. I've been surprised how easy it's been to write so many words because usually that would really take it out of me, but I have been focusing on increasing my word count all of this year and it's really starting to pay off. So I may even do some more writing tonight, I am really getting into the flow of this new story. It is an interesting premise that also has the potential to tie together a lot of my other series, even the ones that are in quite different genres, so it has been a lot of fun to plan and I'm really enjoying writing the first chapter. But I've also had a lot of fun doing everything else today, the baking, eating some fantastic food, just enjoying hanging out at home and being cosy here in the caravan. It has been so nice. So thank you for joining me on this very cosy and relaxed day of tea and cake and words. I hope I get a chance to do this again soon because it has been wonderful. And I hope you have also found the time to be cosy and get lots of writing in recently. I will be back soon of course with another vlog, until then keep writing everyone and I'll see you next time.